Stephen Curry re-signed with the Warriors for $201 million. Now everybody's thinking, yo, that's a lot of money. It's being considered one of the richest contract signings in NBA history of all time. And LeBron James comes out and says that he believes that Stephen Curry is, is horribly underpaid despite signing the biggest contract in NBA history. What do you guys think in the comment section? Tell me, is LeBron James correct? Is LeBron James right? And if you don't believe me, LeBron James tweeted out on Twitter. He said, so tell me why there's a cap on how much a player should get. He said, don't answer that. Steph should be getting 400 million this summer for over five years. Now, I think that LeBron James is saying this because LeBron James is smart. LeBron James has both basketball IQ and he's a businessman at the same time and if LeBron James is seeing Stephen Curry get 200 million just to resign with the Warriors I think LeBron James is saying hey Cavs if you guys want to resign me or if any other team wants to sign me you have to offer me more than 201 mil because I don't think that LeBron James feels as if he should be underpaid than Stephen Curry I think LeBron James thinks that he should be overpaid because if LeBron James is saying Stephen Curry deserves 400 million just to resign with the Warriors how much does he think he should be getting paid so how much does LeBron James thinks he should be getting paid and if MJ and Kobe were still playing how much would they be getting paid because if LeBron James thinks that Stephen Curry should be getting 400 million then in LeBron James logic Michael Jordan if he was playing today in his prime I think Michael Jordan would have been getting a billion but I think LeBron James is just being smart he's saying he's warning any other team that wants to sign him that hey when you sign me you have to go over 200 mil because obviously the, the Warriors are willing to spend that much on Stephen Curry and Stephen Curry hasn't accomplished half the accolades that LeBron James has accomplished so LeBron James thinks that Stephen Curry was underpaid when he got 201 million to resign with the Warriors and now LeBron James is saying times that by two and that's how much Stephen Curry should earn so LeBron James thinks that Stephen Curry should be earning 400 million just to resign with the Warriors he says that the Warriors should resign Stephen Curry for 400 million do you agree with that? And it's interesting because LeBron James has never gotten paid this much amount of money for his performance. I mean, people compare LeBron James to Michael Jordan and Kobe. And someone that's compared to Kobe and Michael Jordan, he hasn't gotten a 200 million contract signing. But Stephen Curry, a guy who's shooting threes, a guy who's won two finals championships. So LeBron thinks that that guy being Stephen Curry deserves 400 million. For shooting threes, I, I really don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, how much do you think LeBron thinks he should be getting paid? That's the bigger question. So if you break it down over the five years, LeBron James says that Stephen Curry should be making 80 million per year. That's crazy. So if LeBron James thinks that Stephen Curry should be making this much, how much does LeBron James think he should be making? So this raises a bigger question. If Michael Jordan was still playing today with the way the NBA is set up in salary caps and how much players are being paid, how much would Michael Jordan and Kobe be getting paid? Would they be getting a billion? I mean, Michael Jordan would be getting a billion just to resign with the Bulls if this is LeBron James' thinking. But I don't know. Tell me in the comment section, do you think that Stephen Curry is worth this much amount of money? But I'm out.